Okay, let's see how we can go about sort of trimming down videos that can be used as part of our slideshow. Now this equally applies, I'm using ProShow Gold here, but it equally applies to ProShow Producer as well. This is the video file I've selected, and videos can really add a whole new dimension to your slideshow. I'm going to click on it, it's going to drag it into slide position number one here. It drops in, it's only taken a few seconds to load, that you might find that ones that you have taken take considerably longer. It does depend on the file size you are working with, so be prepared to go away and have a cup of coffee or whatever. Coming back to it, you'll notice it's now loaded. If I double click, this is going to open the slide option dialog box. We need to go to the layer tab and we're going to come to the center one here, which is the video setting. Coming through, it's under the video clip setting. It's showing us the length of the video is 41 seconds in length. We've got these uh, little boxes here, we'll come back to these, and if we just drop down, we can come to Preview Video. Clicking on this, it was an MOV video, so it's going to open the Quick Time Player. You'll probably find uh, when you click on the Preview Video button, it's going to open it into the native player for the video that you're using. It could be sort of uh, generic with your camera, it could be sort of you know, sort of uh, Windows Media Player, whatever else. This was actually taken with a mobile phone as well, so you can use all sorts of recording devices. And if I just click the play button here, just off the screen, you see there's a heart playing there. Through it comes, not particularly good quality. As I say, it was taken with a mobile phone, but it's my daughter's graduation. I just thought it'd make a nice part to the slideshow I was going to do for her. And if we click stop or pause there, I'm just going to use the slider because halfway through the video as we drop down you'll notice this bar here for the balcony that's uh, there doesn't look particularly good so what I thought I'd do is just trim this section out of the video if we come through to the end here it comes back up onto the stage I wanted to keep that in the video as well we're just going to click and close this down coming across we're going to come to trim video clicking on the trim video opens the trim video clip dialog box there's the start position. Here's the end position at uh, 0 0.41.608 seconds. So there's the end position there, showing us the start and the end. There's the preview window. Bringing your cursor in, we get another bar, but this time it's a very useful bar because it allows us, as we move our way through, I'm just clicking, the, well, not even clicking down, just bringing the cursor into the window. As we come over like this, the camera drops down, sorry, my phone drops down a bit. And then you can see the bar coming through in the bottom right-hand corner. Just bringing it back slightly to this area here. What have we got? We've got 19 seconds, frame 14. I'm just going to click down with my cursor. That has put in a marker point there. We can now come across. We can come to the end position. I'm going to grab hold of the end position with my finger dragging this over like this until the two lines meet up nicely and you get a nice little sort of pointy bit on the top there and if we just take a look that looks pretty good we're going to click OK to that right if we just come and take a look at the slide underneath you'll see it's still showing us a 38.633 seconds so that's the original length of the video we need to come back to the slide timing Lock slide timing to video length. If we tick the box there, you'll notice it's now with a lock symbol with a little sort of uh, movie sort of icon there, a little film strip. 16.491, but it was 19 seconds. But don't forget, we've got three seconds here of transition. We're going to click OK to that. So there we are. That's trimmed it down. If I just grab hold of the, uh, the slider on the top here, move it across, you'll now notice that when it comes and drops down, it fades out there. So we've now trimmed that bar out of the video. OK, I want to come back so it finishes off, don't forget, on the, the center stage area. We're going to right click. We're going to come down just on the screen. We have copy. We have now copied this slide. We're going to come to the next one here. Right clicking again. We're going to choose paste. That is pasted in the video. It's exactly the same. We've got exactly the same timings. We've got the same start position. It would be the same end position. So there it is. So we want to come in now. We want to edit this video. We're going to double click. Now, both in ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer, they use a non-destructive sort of way of trimming the video, which is fantastic because now we can come back to trim video. We can come back to this. I'm going to use the zoom. So we zoom out to the full length of the video showing us on the screen here. You see this is the black area we trimmed initially. I'm going to take this right to the end. 
showing us the end position there and in the preview. Now if we come in using that cursor again, don't forget that that's where the bar came in. Now we're going to drag it across, we're going to do the opposite this time, we're looking for when the bar disappears to this point here would be particularly good. Yep, clicking down, 31 seconds in, we can now come across, don't forget we click down to put in this marker, we can now come across, pick up the start position, drag in this over like that and just deliberately slide my cursor down just looking for the lines to overlap there and that little arrow to form nicely on the top there it is job done once again let's just lift this up a little bit we're going to click OK to that now it's already locked it it's only showing four seconds here you can see the way the timing adjusted for us there it is we're going to click OK to that coming through if we just take a look and you can see the transition time is in there that actually works quite well with that I like the way that comes through and the way that carries on but let's just try it let's see how it works uh, as a video itself we're going to look in the preview screen here just going to click and play this is coming through there it's sort of camera swinging around well it was my phone that was swinging around as I say you can use any sort of recording device for this uh, and I was just more than happy to be able to capture this on my mobile phone and coming through Let's blend it through there nicely, coming up, finishing on the stage position. The idea I then had was to stop this, and if we just double click, we're going to come to effects. So this is the start position, this is the end position of the video, just as you would with the slide. Now I want to come in, I want to zoom in on the area of the stage where the ceremony is going to take place, just dropping it across like that. There you are, so I'm now going to bring the next slide in through, superimpose it through this, click OK to that and if we just play from this position it's only four seconds you can see we're now zooming in to that area job done so there you are that's you can see how you can take your video it doesn't matter if it was taken with your video camera call camcord whatever they're called yeah those video <laughs> recorder play, or your mobile phone whatever device you choose to use you can trim your video both in Pro Show Gold and Pro Show Producer go on give it a try until the next time happy imaging and take care.